Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to PvP, like a default, and so I'm going to be covering loads of different techniques that you can use while you're PvPing, and a lot at, by the end of this, you might be at, pretty good at PvP. You might not be the best at PvP, but I bet you that you'll be relatively good at PvP. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so, this is going to be how to use your projectile, like a fishing rod or a bow, to make your opponent stunned. So, if you can just run at me. So, basically, if you use your fishing rod and hit the opponent, they get knocked back. But, the durability gets gets lower when you pull it back so what you want to do is you want to rod them and then just switch to your sword instead of pulling it back so now just try to fight me or run at me so if you hit them with the rod um, like they get sort of just pushed back but you can also do this with the bow like this if I can actually hit. Like that. So now I'm going to teach you how to strafe on your opponent, and that's using A and D so to go around your opponent so that the, it's harder for them to hit you. So basically, you can go like this, but you don't want to make a full circle around your opponent loads and loads of times. You want to try to make your strafing like random so that it's hard for them to hit you. So now just try running at me. So basically if you use strafe, it'll be harder for them to hit you like that. So now I'm going to show you how to block hit. And block hitting is basically when you right click to block your sword. And this is assuming that you're in version 1.8.9 or lower. And so, what you do is you can combine left click and right click so that you can block click, block hit like this, or this is more advanced, you can hit them and then block when you think they're gonna hit you like this. This benefits you because you're able to take less damage and less knockback and so you can get them into a combo. Now I'm going to be showing you how to reset your sprint. This can be done by either tapping W, S, or even pressing shift. So basically, while you're running at them, you can either let go and spam W like that, or you can tap S, or you can shift. What I like to do is tap S. So basically, run at me. You can tap S, and then you'll be doing more knockback. The reason this works is because the way Minecraft knockback works, if you just punch someone in a straight line, you see eventually I catch up to them. But if I'm W tapping while I punch them like this, then they take more knockback because I'm resetting the knockback every single time I hit them. So now just let's fight and then I'll be S-tapping, because I prefer S-tapping. So, you see, he rotted me, and that stunned me, and so he was able to get an extra few hits on me, and that, so now I'm on, I was on lower health. Oh, okay. That's unneeded. Oh. So now what I'm going to be showing you is how to place a block in front of you and then they make them like trip on the block so that they're just sitting there and then you'll be able to get them into a combo. So run at me. And if you place a block, 
like run at me again like this they trip on the block and then you can get hits on them so now I'm going to show you how to lava this also works with flint and steel and so if you run at me you can place the lava and then they'll run at you they'll run directly into the lava he used the water to counteract the fire so he isn't he isn't on fire okay so in this fight i'm just going to combine everything that i just taught you and try to beat my opponent veggie dogs so just try to fight me like normal So basically when you're, this is sort of like a tip. When you're below someone, you can hit them easier than if you're above someone, if you're aiming at their feet, like because you will have more range. So you always want to get your opponent, to try to get your opponent onto like a ledge and so that oh oh okay i almost died you always want to try to get your opponent onto a ledge oh no, no. okay i lost <laughs> 